Hey, good morning. Um, right now my energy level is so low because I woke up with a headache, I think like a fever. I couldn't really go to sleep. So right now I'm trying the best I can to enjoy my day still, uh, cause I do feel sick. So we're gonna take the, the little buses right here. Wait, the little buses right there. Yeah. To explore the town like we I did in Puebla um, and kind of show us around Campeche. Um, I really want to explore it. I really want to explore Campeche. The only thing that's holding me is my headache, but I still want to explore it. So let's get going and enjoy as much as I can while my head hurts, because you can only do so much when you're feeling sick. But I won't let that stop me and keep me in the hotel all day, because I don't like doing that, I don't. But I, I'm at the Center Plaza and uh, they're cleaning shoes here. People just come here and chill. Um, I'll show you guys around in there. And I'm underneath a big, uh, like a cover, like a, a can can it canopy? I'm, a, I'm under a giant canopy. Personas con boleto, favor de abordar el pregonero. Tranvía rojo de fachadas coloniales. Salida del tranvía en este momento. It rained on the on the tour so right now we're actually stopping at the church with the park uh, they're giving us 10 minutes to come a little bit and explore a little bit and just to check it out it's pretty cool because they were saying how um, the Christ that's inside was transported from uh, Europe and it's special because it's a black Christ which is pretty cool I'll show a little clip of it uh, but uh, right now, I think we're done with the 10 minutes. We're gonna hop back on the, right here. Oh. We're gonna hop back on it and then um, head back out and do a little bit more of the tour. But it's been fun getting to learn a little bit of the history of Campeche and getting to see a little bit of the uh, barrios, which are uh, just different streets, uh, different hoods of Campeche. So it's been pretty fun um, still. Have that massive headache, but I'm still trying to enjoy this. I'm excited. Uh, I brought my magic wand. Oh. All right, I made it. I'm here at the pyramids slash ruins uh the first is just a long amazing walk uh, towards the center of this place after you pay 90 pesos for entrance i'll put the name of the location down like right here i brought my lucky stick All right, I'm here, and uh, I'm gonna climb that. Yeah, I'm gonna make it all the way up here. 
Uh, I've seen people climb it and they're climbing it, walking it, taking video and just kind of exploring. And I feel like I am gonna head over here and climb these stairs that look pretty hard. But are they hard or is it just my imagination? Let's find out. Oops, almost went backwards. Uh, here, I think these are steps. All right, so now I'm at the top of the pyramid on the left when I walked in and I can go up there. So I'm gonna climb that up. Martine is down there gonna take some, a picture of me. Hopefully they come out good and hopefully I'm in focus. Oh, you can't climb it. I guess you can't climb it. I was excited. I was very, very excited. It's okay if I can't climb it, but it's still a magnificent view. I think I'm going to go climb that one. Or maybe that one. That one's pretty cool, but I think I'm going to climb this right here. Go up and take a picture up there. That right there, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Instead of my... My lucky stick slash wand, it's a pointing mechanism. <laughs> Alright. The rock patterns is pretty cool. They're like pointed, the sides are pointed to up instead of like the flat side, which gives it a pretty good, unique, I would say, look to them. Plus I say it gives them like a little bit more grip. It feels on my shoes. But they didn't wear shoes back then, right? Oh wow. Just taking him like a second to just take in this amazing nest and the view of the view from up here is just spectacular. All right, I'm finishing up the, the little tour with uh, the pyramids. Uh, there's a little tunnel over here. My dad was telling me I need to go check it out. So I'm going to go check that out before we take off. Um, yeah, definitely worth it to come out here and just be amazed and in awe. I've been in awe, like honestly, since I've arrived. I walked in and I was like, whoa. Okay, so there's a little cave up coming up here. I'll show you guys that. Oh, and uh, then I'm off back to Campeche uh, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do later uh, I know we're gonna go eat so or I'm gonna go eat something and venture around but yeah oh, there's more there's like a little plaza over here over there the 
tunnel's over here. More iguanas. Oh, that's a pretty small tunnel. Huh. Huh. All right, let's go. Oh wow, it leads out to like this beautiful courtyard. All right, it's about 6 p.m. right now. I'm actually gonna cross the street because there's less people and then I want them. I don't, I don't. All right, so it's time to go get some, uh, some dinner. Just crossing the road, you know? Like, look, looking both ways. Uh, today's a windy day and I love it. It's been really windy. I've been feeling sick, but I've been pushing through because I ain't gonna let some sickness ruin it, end it. Mm -hmm. Like I got shivers and shit. I got shivers and the headache. But anyways, um, I'm now on my way to go look for my parents because I don't know where they went. And we were supposed to go eat somewhere and I have no idea where. So let me go look for them and choose a place to go eat. But yeah, night's over. Time to eat. Angel's Food Adventures. 